Hiya folks, me again. Just dragged a few CDs kicking in and screaming out my collection to show. Uh, a couple are newish and uh, let's get on with it. The first one is this one. Um, Blizzard Hunter. Now, uh, this is a new discovery from me. Um, I was on YouTube one night and this is how I discovered them. And I, th they're pretty good. Now the bad points first. I'll do the bad points first. This is a band that's been going since 2006 from Lima, Peru. And this is their first album, 2015. And I believe there's a concert album of this as well, but I haven't found it yet. Um, the first point to me is the, the, top, the name of the band, Blizzard Hunter. That sort of didn't take me um, immediately. Um, the second thing is, is the battle scene is, is this pure heavy metal cover. Uh, that's a plus. Uh, the third thing, it sounds a lot like Iron Maiden. Two or three tracks are just clone Maiden. There's a great uh, reproduction of Holy Smoke. And the singer sounds like Maiden uh, on a lot of the songs. This album is just uh, influenced by bands like Maiden. Then it goes into a Slayer phase. And uh, yeah... Another bad point is the singer wants to try and sound too much like Bruce Dickinson in some songs. But the good points are when you move away from all that, it's a pretty good record. Because the stuff they do look like their own is really, really good. And what got me on this record is the guitarist can seriously, seriously play. I mean, some of his riffs are so fast, they just merge into one. It's mind-blowing stuff. And the singer has got really good heavy metal vocals, really clean voice. It's just when they sort of do this sort of like uh, Iron Maiden. Um, it's just when it sort of spoils it. But they normally do on a first album, they do a lot of experiment to find their niche. You can understand it. But uh, it is really, really good record after all said and done. Um, if you like albums about the usual like battle, war, victory evil um, vet, um all sorts of stuff i am reading by the way it's too early in the morning it's only quarter past eight but yeah um if you like um you know about that sort of stuff it's right up your street um you know about the old battles and stuff but uh, be prepared for a lot of iron maiden worship um if you're lucky enough in your record store to see it i would definitely pick it up i will pin a track below um, so uh, you can have a listen yourself and make your mind up about it. But I did pay a lot of money for it. But I don't mind it's a first album and I believe it's supporting, I want to say new bands. But uh, upcoming bands or whatever, they have been about a long time. But uh, yeah, it's just a great, great band. Um, it's a sort of band, you know, you would find in a pub. Or when I went down the, the Haygate, I can mention its name now because it's defunct, it was pulled down. And you see a pub sort of band uh, type metal outfit, you know what I mean? But if they went on to their own stuff, I think they'd do really good in the metal world. And also change that horrible uh, name, Battle Hunter. I don't, don't like it at all, Blizzard Hunter. Um, it's just not good. But uh, once you've done all that, I think that they'll have a really, really good future. And uh, yeah, check out the guitar, it's just out of this world. But I hope I've described it um, alright. But yeah, my next record is a must-buy. This one, Greg the Eggs held up a lot. And uh, this is Northern Ireland's own Storm Zone. And this De Death Dealer is a killer record. And uh, I can't recommend this one enough. It's just mind-blowingly good. Good, clear vo vocals. The riffs are brilliant. Uh, everything's brilliant about it. You can listen to this record all day long and feel perfectly... Um, satisfied it came out in 2010 on the steam ammo label it's also got my favorite color purple on the front cover as well so you can't go wrong with this release and if you do do see it pick it up and you'll be in for a great time now the next band is another one that greg sent me and it's a pretty new one to me but i absolutely love it and this is the cadillac tramps if you haven't discovered this band to check it out um, it is basically a rock band, post-punk, 
sort of rock with a teacher's scar, but not too much. It's mainly rock. Um, I'm thinking of sort of bands I could compare them to, like, uh, prob it'd be unfair to say Green Day. But <clears throat> the quality of punk is not too poppy, if you know what I mean. A lot of this stuff now is what they call pop punk. But this is definitely not it, and it's definitely a good record. Um, I enjoy, I played this one a lot just recently, Greg, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's very hard to describe, but it is a good rock. It does, it does um, you know, rock you like, but I did detect sort of a, ta uh, a touch of post-punk vibe as well. Um, if you like Clash, but a lot heavier rock-wise, you'll love this. It's the best way I can describe it. It's a hard one. But sadly, I think the lead singer died recently, and um, so I read it because they're from Orange County in California, and the lead singer died apparently, so uh, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's just a fantastic, I like the $2.99 price tag on as well. Uh, I love that sort of stuff on records. But yeah, it's just a killer album. So if you get this in your record store, pick it up. Now, the first, last but not least is the most famous band in the world, Heavy Metal. And this is Metallica. And I don't know why, but I've been reading a lot of stuff on them and doing a lot of research for them online the last couple of weeks. And, uh, you know, it's been really, really interesting. So I've been listening to a lot of Metallica. Now, this is a box set I bought a couple of years ago. And uh, it's basically bootlegs. Um, you're getting two CDs that got, you got classic live songs from various shows. Then they've got, I've, I've got to stress this, the Russian monster of rock, not just, not the British one. Because when Brit, you look at the monsters of rock, you think of Donington, the UK. But apparently there's quite a few different monsters of rock festivals over the world. I think there was one in Europe, but there's what this one was the one in Russia they did in 91. And it's a big concert, you get the full show. Um, you don't get any of the crowd noise, but you get everything else. You get the music. Hetfield sh shouting at the audience, but you don't hear any crowd noise. They've edited all that out. Um, this is just a killer record, or say records. Um, the third one has got my fake, one of my favourite tracks. Um, it's the one I, I always associate with Metallica, Whom the Bell Tolls. I just like it for some reason. Some people may say it's not their strongest track, but it's the sort of track that's resonated with me. Enter the Sandman's my favourite album they ever made. But I just like From Whom the Bell Tolls. I'm sure I know it's on, um, I think it's on, what album was it on? Ride the Lightning. I'm sure it was that one. But uh, yeah, it's just a killer box. Now the only downside I've got with Metallica just lately, and it's been going for about three or four years with me now, are the encore songs. Um, they've got this one called So What? And the lyrics, some of the lyrics are really bad. And on this one, there's no exception. They're talking about killing babies. T sorry, that's too much for me. Uh, I don't want to listen to that crap in me heavy metal. Um, it's just it's just too bad. It's really, really bad. And about women. I'm not going into details, but it's a really nasty thing you do to women as well. And uh, Mo uh, uh, Metallica were heavily inspired by bands like Motorhead. You've got a Diamond Head cover version as well, Am I Evil? Which, is a, which we all know Motorhead covered. Because when they go into these punk covers, I know a lot, a lot of hardcore punk bands, and even they won't cover this sort of stuff. It's just too much. And Metallica, they always seem to do it at the end of their shows. Don't know if anybody else notice. But, you know, some youngsters might revel in it. To me, it's just too much. Um, it's, it's a really bad song. Why they do it, I just don't know. But apart from that, I really, really enjoy this. You can still pick it up. It only cost about 20 quid. Well, not expensive. You can still pick these up. It's really, really good. You get the New Steady era. You get the, I think it's Burton era. And you get the Trillio, some stuff of there. But obviously that Monsters of Rock, I believe, was in the New Stead. And the, the interesting thing I was uh, learning was Hetfield was the um, Black Album, or self-titled uh, album, reading about that tour. It was a long tour. And a lot happened on it, sort of divorce, addictions, and New Stead leaving and everything. And it was going into all what was happening behind behind the scenes and stuff. It's been really, really interesting. But the same, if anyone from Metallica is listening, don't do some of the songs. Just make, want to have a bucket by the side of me. I just, I just fast forward now. I don't want to listen to that stuff. It's just too much for me. Anyway, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this show. 
Now, I hope I've opened you up to some new music and described it okay. And, um, yeah, just check it out and you'll be pleasantly surprised. And you may discover a new favourite band. Anyway, folks, uh, stay well. And I'll catch you next time. Probably be the weekend sometime. Bye.